In this video, we're going to take a look at the two most commonly used text components. These are labels and text input. Labels will be used in just about every app you ever build. Labels allow us to create text that can't be edited by the users. When you first add a label, the text is small, but it's easy to change the font size. To change the text that's displayed by your label, simply click into the label and begin to type. What you might find is if your label's small, not all of your information appears. However, by looking in the formula bar at the top of the screen, you can see all of your information, even before you resize your label to make it large enough to display. Here in preview mode, we can see that the user can click on the label, but can't actually change the text. Now let's try a text input component. The text input control allows users to type when they're using your app. For example, if you have a form, where someone will be entering a postcode, a name, or a date of birth, a text input is one of the most popular ways of doing that. In the same way as the label, the properties window on the right side of the screen gives us many settings to change. A useful one is the mode setting that allows you to change from single line of text to multiple line. We can also enter a default value that will first be entered when people switch to this screen within their app. Back in the preview, we can see how a label and a single text input set to multiple line could quickly be used to create what is needed for a feedback form. As well as being able to change the label text directly in the label itself, you can also make equivalent changes by using the formula bar above. When making changes to text in the formula bar, be sure to leave the double quotes before and after the information. The double quotes tell the system to display the information exactly as it is, rather than trying to understand it and perform a calculation such as subtract or addition. Labels and text inputs are not only critical building blocks for any app you'll build, they're also able to look great thanks to their many font settings. Labels are brilliantly useful as descriptions and headings to help people understand how to use your apps. Text inputs allow people to type, allowing us to capture information and send it back to other locations, for example, a spreadsheet or database. This video is part of a series called Your Know How. Watch other videos in the series to learn more about Microsoft 365.